I'm Neon Saka, and today we got something special. I got Marker A Deluxe and the wheel. So today I thought I'd review it, show you what it's all about, what's in it, and what, what all we can do with it. Let's dive in. So we're gonna open up this. This, this, this thing. And the that thing. Get rid of the trash, we don't need that. And then we got the game. So, Marker 88 Deluxe, it did have Marker 8 for the Wii U, but they remade it a little bit and then made some more improvements and made it better for you. They say the graphics are better. They have, they have on the back here, it says they'll have more new faces. What I'm told is they'll have all of the ex DLCs, all the expansions, like all the characters you could have got for the Wii U if you never got them or never played it. All the courses. Some new, maybe some new um, items, and they're also bringing, if you ever played Splatoon, they're bringing their characters a big game for the Wii U. I think more in like Japan and stuff, it's huge. The e League's back out there for that. But, and we're getting some, and we'll, and we'll probably get like maybe a couple more courses in this one, new ones. But I think, I think we'll get like two new like um, cups, and we'll get like maybe four or six. Four or eight, or how many you want to put in that cup? About, I think four is the cup, so about eight. I'm going to get about eight new ones, I'm guessing. And they're bringing the battle mode, so they're bringing it even better. So they might put more weapons in and better stuff for it. On the back, it says new weapons, it looks like. We're getting a feather. I don't know what that is. It looks like a daisy. If you see, it looks like daisy. And we get boo. So I don't know if that's a character we're getting or if that's an actual item. It looks like an item to me. So. It looks cool. You can play with four people at home. You can play online. And let's see what it has. It says, jump into the driver's seat. Who's going to be number one? Jump right in and see if you got what it takes to be a Markart master. Okay, let's open it up. So, what have we got in here? Basically, we don't have a book. They took the books out so that they can save money, paper, and most of you don't read them. Inside, it shows you, it shows you how to use the Joy-Con and Joy-Con and the Joy-Con grip. How to how do you play the game? How to move left and right? Use your weapons. It shows you left and right in the back. Looks like these two um, joysticks: A and B. A to go forward, B to go backwards. It looks like it shows you with the with the wheel we have here. It shows you you can play with the tablet. You can play the Pro Controller. Um, and it's a controller guide. That might help you guys out. Um, the games. If you've never seen a game, if you look at it really closely, a game. Think of a DS. They're really, really small. You see it? They're really, really small. Like a DS game. Or even like an SD card kind of thing. So, that's how the games look like for you guys, if you can see that. Let's put that back in there so we don't lose our game. You can play it with the Pro Controller and stuff. It's pretty cool. So, and then and then, then I think L is is to launch your weapon. Left left one. Right is to like kind of turn or swerve or like or like help you like help you better like not always go so far like I don't know how you call it go in a little bit like cause you got this thing left and right with that Joy-Con over here the blue one. Tells you everything you need to know how to play the game out of book. Pretty cool. Put that to the side. Let's jump right into the box. Let's jump right in. Let's take this right off. Let's take this right off. Got the tape? Who hates tape? Oh, I do. I don't need that. Get that out of here. Go to the other side. There we go. And we got it! Yeah! Let's get in. Open up the box. Show what we got. And the wrap like that, if you wanted to see. Take one controller out. One of them out right now. Ooh. They're black. So guess this where you put the 
good, good Joy-Con. This is the left and right in the back. They're nice and smaller. And it even has in the back, oh, it even looks as Nintendo Switch. And if you can see it very closely, you can see it has checkerboard, like a checker fly, like a, pretty cool. You can see that in the back. This is the front. It feels good. I like the smallness because it more compacts your hand. The only thing that I would be concerned, if the pen, pen how you, if you play like this, your hands get in the way, but you're not going to play like that. You're going to play more like this. That's pretty cool. Let's put that. I even, I even, put that, get that over there right now. I even brought, brought my Joy-Cons to see how it actually puts in. So we rip one of these off. Did not much one probably, and it probably does the same effect. Probably does the same effect because what it says is here is if you look very closely, and it shows you how to put it on. It's kind of cool. So I do that, I just put it in there, take that right out, and we're in. Nice, you have your controller, you have your thing, you move moving, moving. Now, I even, I even went into this step further, so I thought I would bring in the Wii version. The Wii version was white, because, yeah, the Wii version was white, because of the Wii. Mainly they have the black one because they brought out because most of the most switches are gonna be white. I mean are gonna be black. Sorry about that. Are you black? So so I thought they're gonna bring that. You can buy them in the red and blue, like the neon colors. They have them. There are probably gonna be more colors on the road. So let's put them side by side. If you look at them, they're bigger. The only reason why the V is bigger. Is because controller was bigger. That's the reason. The the Joy-Con for the wheel is smaller because the Joy-Cons are smaller. I I personally think the Joy-Con one looks cuter. The Joy-Con one is more awesome because it's more compact. It fits your hands a little better. This one is so much wider. It feels like a wheel, like you're in a real car. That's the difference, I think. And you got more, a little bit more work, got to put it through here, the hole, the, the string, and all that, blah, blah, blah. I just think this is cooler. It has two buttons in the back instead of this one only has one in the Wii version. So, that's cool. And this one has a little sensor thing so that the, the, the thing can take the sensor part to pick it up. That doesn't have to worry about that. It's all in the, in the, in the controller acting like, and, and I'm hearing reviews, they're saying, this helps you play the game better with the wheel. So, if you need the wheel, go get a wheel, play it. And if you do go with the wheel, play your way. If you do, if you do better with just with the Joy Cons or in the Joy Con grip, play it that way. Don't let anybody stop you playing your way. Play Mark Hart the way you're good at. So, we see here we got the Mark Hart game eight, and we got the wheels. So, what do you think? Do you like the game so far? Do you want to go out and get it? If you like the game, go out and get it. Everybody loves Mario Kart. Who does not? If you like it, go get a copy. And also, I am going to make more videos with this game. Me actually gameplay. And also, I'm thinking about opening up a live stream on Twitch where I can play this game and play it maybe with you guys, with viewers. And you guys can come join me and play Mario Kart. I'm not sure when the Twitch is going to get open. I'm hoping as soon as possible. But videos of this game are coming. So look out on my channel for those. For more of that. And you'll see more gameplay and things about the game. And come join me if you want to play on my stream on Twitch. When I get it up and running. I'll let you guys know as soon as when I get it up. And when I'm live. And also. If you like this video. Please like, subscribe, and share. And 
thank you for watching this video and I hope this video will help you. I'm Nia Sauerkraut. Keep it always going and peace. We're out.